Contemporary American politics is, is essentially characterized by racialized factions associated with the two political parties. In the case of uh, the Democratic Party, there's already kind of a default perception on the part of many blacks that they're inclined, more inclined than the Republican Party to work on behalf of black interests. And when I say the interests of black voters here, what I'm thinking of in particular are efforts to address uh, unemployment, which is uh, typically, typically double that of whites and certainly significantly higher than the national average and issues of poverty. Now, obviously, to the extent that the Republican Party does this as well, that's a plus. But there's another kind of burden that the Republican Party uh, shoulders, and that's this perception, fair or unfair, that their, their party is not one that's always been sympathetic to the interests and concerns of African Americans. The Latino vote is a, in a different, somewhat in a different category than the African American vote. The issue of immigration is very important, obviously, and Republicans face more of a burden in this regard than do Democrats. They have to combat the notion, if they want to be serious about attracting Hispanic voters, they have to combat the notion that theirs is the party of, uh, of intolerance. And, and this can be done, and to some degree George W. Bush, certainly with respect to appealing to Hispanic voters, was able to credibly put forth this image of being someone who is, who is a little more flexible on issues of immigration than your standard Republican. Whoever wins or loses, uh, the lion's share of blacks and, uh, and Hispanics, and to some degree Asians as well, will be aligned with the Democratic candidate.